to, I wanted to say something because uh, I posted something on Instagram and um, it got a lot of traction and it, and it was, it was actually an old post, but um, what I realized is that a lot of people, you know, don't catch the information when it comes out or they might be new or they just forgot. So I posted about uh, my eyelet, Irrevocable Life Insurance Trust. And uh, this is something that I think is important for people to understand. Just the trust period. We should probably at some point bring a, a lawyer on to talk about trust um, and estate planning because it's extremely important, especially when you're talking about wealth. But the whole point of a trust is to take things out of your name. And this is why when they always say, you always hear that cliche like, oh, what is it? Uh, own nothing, control everything. Yes. Um, and that's, you know, that's kind of where that that comes from, whereas, you know, a lot of wealthy people, they, they don't really, and they're not really in a hurry to have their name on everything. And this goes back to even that versus battle um, with uh, Jeezy and Gucci. Mm. And um, when Jeezy said he owns half Atlanta, and then, you know, of course, people on social media um, they got to Googling and they was like, well, it actually comes out that he only owns one house in Macon, Georgia. Da, 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 da. And it was, then there's another wave of social media people that was like, well, you know, you don't just because your name is not attached to it doesn't Ain't mean it. that you don't. Surprise. <laughs> right. That's facts. actually more beneficial yeah. because just how you found out that he owns that house. Like, don't you think that it would probably be beneficial that you wouldn't be able to find it out? And it's like, you know, that's why people own things and trust and LLCs and different things of that nature for protection on a legal side. Mm -hmm. but also to take things out of their personal um, estate because there's a thing called estate taxes. Mm -hmm. So this is extremely important where it's like, okay, as you're accumulating wealth and you become wealthy, um, this information might not apply to you right now, but God willing, it will apply to you in the future. And this is the whole point of why you're watching Market Mondays, right? So when you're 10 million up and when you're 20 million up now you got a whole different set of problems it's not like your problems aren't money your problems are keeping money yes that's extremely important getting money is one thing keeping money is a whole different ball game and that's the part that they never taught you they never really taught you how to get money but mm -hmm. some people are smart enough to figure it out but you definitely wasn't taught how to keep money because even if you get money it could just be a fluke they let you have money for 20 years, 30 years, but that's not really no real money because ultimately you're just going to give it back in 30 years anyway. When you die, mm -hmm. your family, your, the IRS, everybody's just going to come and then, you know, one generation, you back to where you started. So this is extremely important to understand. So when you hear the word trust, it's A, it's just important. That I wanted to kind of give that groundwork. Now, another, it's another, notepad time? I just want to know if it's notepad time. Yeah, it's always it's notepad. Is important. Right. Hey, let's do this then. It's always notepad. Let's, let's, let's do this then. Let's do this thing. Yes. Money green. Let's go. <laughs> money green. The money team. Hey. Um, so there's a difference between tax evasion and tax avoidance. Let's put this out there right away. Because I, I don't, I don't even, I'm not going through this with you. Oh, this tax evasion is a federal crime that you will be penalized for. And you'll probably go to jail if you ever get caught. This is when you're purposely avoiding paying taxes and you're lying on your income and you're not reporting income, that is tax evasion. That's illegal. And you shouldn't, you should never do that under any circumstances. Tax avoidance is the practice of minimizing the taxes that you owe in a legal and efficient manner. This is something that smart people do and wealthy people have been doing for a very long period of time. Tax avoidance is not tax evasion. They're two different things, mm -hmm. right? And we can have a conversation about Donald Trump at some point if you're interested, but that's a different conversation altogether. I would duck that straight. <laughs> Everybody out of team. Everybody out of camera. Not I. <laughs> I'm cool. So the whole point, your whole point is to pay as little taxes as possible. There's nothing wrong with that. And this is why it's important to be a business owner. This is why it's important to have deductions. This is why it's important to have employees because- the tax code, once again, is not set up for employees. Mm -hmm. The tax code is set up for entrepreneurs and investors, landowners. These are the, these are the, who do you think writes the tax code? This is, this is something that people don't fully understand. And one thing that you, you can't do if you're trying to become wealthy, you can't beef with information. Don't argue with information. Don't or fight legislation. with legislation. Yeah, but the thing is, like, if you're not qualified to speak, you have to listen. If you're not qualified to speak, you have to listen. This is where humility comes into play. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Having said that, the islet 
Irrevocable Life Insurance Trust. Mm. Very important to understand why this is even important. So the Irrevocable Life Insurance Trust is when you have a life insurance policy, but you're not the owner. The trust, you have a trust set up and the trust is the owner of the life insurance. Now, why is this important? Because if you own life insurance in your own personal name, right, and you die, now that gets added into your estate. Now, if you're worth $5 million and you have a $5 million life insurance policy, now you are actually, your estate is $10 million. It's actually a, a issue because now you have what's called a state tax. You can study what happened to Prince. You can study what happened to Michael Jackson. When you don't have an estate plan, the government comes and they want money within 90 days. So now you have to, this is why the whole estate sale, when you mm -hmm. see a lot of musicians like Elvis Presley, they selling his guitar because they don't have enough money. So now you got to do a fire sale and start selling things, start selling autographed jerseys, start selling homes because you got to raise money to give it to the IRS. That's because they didn't do estate planning. Extremely important to understand this. So to avoid the life insurance causing an issue, then you can put it in a trust. And being that it's in a trust, it doesn't get added to your estate because you don't own it. The estate owns it. Yeah, That is the benefit of it. Now, what it also can do is pay estate taxes because if you have taxes that are due, now you can use a portion of the life insurance policy that's owned by the estate tax-free to pay your estate taxes and a variety of different other things that you can actually do to set it up. So like I said, it's not for everybody, um, but a lot of people listen to Market Mondays. So I'm assuming that some of the people probably are in that situation where mm -hmm. they are wealthy. You just buy the number of a hundred thousand people listen to this. Some are wealthy. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's just the, the law of the law of large numbers. And like I said, if you yourself are not wealthy, that's okay. You're going to get point, there. At some point. Stay when you, with us long when, enough. When you are yep. there, it's better to have the information as opposed to not having the information. We saw it happen. Rest in peace to take off. He didn't have a will. He didn't have any estate plan in place. His parents, are, I guess they're, they're not together anymore. And now allegedly they're, you know, fighting over his situation and it's in probate and it's the whole thing. So it's like, these things keep happening. Mm -hmm. They keep happening. It's been, it was happening in the sixties with Jimi Hendrix. Yep. It happened with Prince. It happened with Michael Jackson. It happened with, and it happened yeah. as recently with takeoff. This is generations keep making the same mistake because they're not educated and they're not informed. And you're not planning for your death because you're thinking that it's superstitious that if you if you think about death, you're gonna die. Well, newsflash, you're gonna die. Yeah, it's a hundred percent it's a hundred percent chance you're done, you're gonna die. That's the thing about it. It's one hundred percent chance. I've never met a person that, that has not I've never met a person that's that's, that's that is a oh, three hundred years old. They're not die five hundred years old. <laughs> They're not die proof. I've never met a person that's immortal. Yep. I've never met a person that has Elon Musk, all the money that he's I've never met a person that has become immortal yet. Yep. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they maybe they are. I just never <laughs> met a, them. I've never met an immortal person before. I never maybe, met somebody. Maybe that with was some alive. of them babies they put in like in that matrix womb, they'll be able to live yeah. for three hundred years. Put them in a the bubble. The matrix pod. Jesus. Put them in a the bubble. The the real bubble. That's the other big uh, podcast. Boom, we're gonna see. Yeah. The, so <laughs> reach out to your trusted lawyer get your estate plan in order this is extremely important and I, this is what i'm doing myself as of right now i'm getting my estate plan in order so even if you're not at the level to get a trust make check your beneficiaries yeah get life insurance get a power of attorney get a health care proxy get your estate plan order we're at the top of the year everybody's setting a new year's resolution this is a this is a good resolution yeah for you to have um, have a conversation with your family, have a conversation with your children. You know, sometimes you got to have uncomfortable conversations. So yeah, just wanted to talk about that. I'm sure we'll probably, like I said, at some point we should probably bring a lawyer on and we can have an even more in-depth conversation, but important to keep in mind. New Year's resolution. Check your paperwork. Update your paperwork, fam. L listen, if somebody put it on you good two years ago and y'all broke up, you may want to take her name off for Bernice to get all your money and then all your three kids on the side be mad. It has happened. I know somebody who, I ain't gonna say your name. I love you. I was in love with her. Why was you in love with what she was doing to you? Okay. Great. Great. Think with your, think, think with your head, but not your head, right? Never updated his paperwork. Whew. Nice little policy came through for the side joint, not the main joint or the kids. And then so, one last one last thing, because people ask, what's the best type of policy? There's a variety of different type of policies, but the policy that I'm using personally, 
is guaranteed protection, universal life, because that's a lifelong policy where it doesn't, it's not designed to build cash value. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a, it's a cheaper premium than a whole life or a IUL. Um, but you don't want to do term with this because term is going to run out. Yeah. So you need a permanent type of policy. So for all you people that's like, well, whole life isn't a good investment. Well, I'm not here to convince you that it is a good investment. But if it I'm runs out and you never get the benefit, that's a great <laughs> finesse. And I'm pro term in some cases, but if you don't expire before the 20 years or 30 years, and then they get to keep all the premium, that is a vic that's like options for the brokerage houses. Yeah. Yeah. 20 years is here. Yeah expired but the guaranteed protection is it, it is a, it's another choice where you don't you, it's like a hybrid between term and whole life where it doesn't yeah. it's not designed to build cash value but it's going to be here for the rest of your life so you don't have to worry about it expiring so how much coverage right. are you getting or should we huh? take it? How, <laughs> how much coverage <laughs> to be determined we zoomed in on that Mike, Ian. Said, <laughs> Mike flipped that out shot like what you doing <laughs> Boy, okay. <laughs> we have that offline. Join our group text. I make Join my group text, text, and we'll tell you how much coverage you should be getting if you want your leisure <laughs> to be earned. <laughs> oh, all right. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop.